Hey guys, it's JD from Ponzo World, and today we're unboxing and reviewing these weather stations made by Zupora. Now this one here on the left is uh, $30, you can find it on Amazon, links will be down below this video. And also this one here, also made by Zupora, is $20, and again links will be down below this video if you want to uh, go pick up either one of these right here. So, not much more to say about them, so let's go ahead and... I'm actually gonna review and unbox this one first. So let's go and set the uh, cheaper $20 one off to site for now. And I'll just get into the $30 uh, one right here. So you can see on the top it says wireless uh, weather station with touch buttons. And then there's the label for Amazon right there. Nothing really much on the sides, but on the back here, have some uh, specs and stuff, indoor temperature range, outdoor temperature range indoor and outdoor humidity range and so on. So there's that. Um, and that's pretty much it for the box. So let's go ahead and open it up. Looks like you pull here. Let's go and pull the, it uh, looks like batteries. Yeah, it comes with uh, two, or not two, uh, four. Or actually it comes with five. Okay, so maybe this one is for the little uh, controller thing. This thing right here. So one uh, AAA and is this a AAA? Yeah, so it comes with, uh, no, actually one, two, three AAAs and two AA's. Okay, that's interesting. So there's the uh, batteries. Here is the little uh, sender unit, if you wanna call it. I assume this is what sends all the uh, information about humidity and temperature and so on. There's that and then going to take the actual screen out. There's that. There's where the batteries go. Let's go and see what else we have and we just have an instruction manual. So there's that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the batteries in these and uh, go ahead and set them up and see how accurate they are and see what each of the buttons do and stuff like that. All right, so I now have the little sensor paired up to this thing here, and um, it's about 20 feet away. It's outside. I'm actually on top of a trailer in the shade, and it's reaching, and it's still working. So it's about 20 feet away, still getting range, so that is pretty cool. Um, so it seems like you could put it pretty far away, and it'd still get range. Again, I can't speak for how far it could go, um, but 20 feet away, I mean, that's a pretty decent distance for that little thing, and uh, it's still working, so there's that. Um, now you can see here again on the left we have outdoor now that is coming from the little sensor and it's claiming to be uh 79.8 degrees out and i'd say that's pretty accurate um now the stock weather app on the or on my phone is what i typically use to find out what the you know uh degrees is outside and i believe they're pulling that information from the airport um in our town now that's probably a good 20, 25 miles away. Um, and it claimed to have been uh, about 81 degrees, at least as of a couple minutes ago. Um, now, it might very well be 80, uh, 81 degrees down there. I don't know, because again, that's 25 um, miles away. So obviously there's gonna be a difference in a temperature. So I would say 79.8 degrees. Again, I don't have much to base it off of except for the weather app, um, but I'd say that's pretty accurate. It's at least within a couple of uh, degrees. So uh, there's that pretty cool, it seems to be working well. And then down here, you also have your uh, relative humidity. I don't have anything uh, to base that off of either. The uh, weather app on your phone doesn't tell you that information. So there's that. Again, I'd say that's probably pretty accurate within a couple of uh, degrees of each other. Um, now this is indoor now. It's pulling the indoor degrees off of this uh, little unit here. I don't know where the uh, sensor is. I'm gonna actually just turn the light on. That's pretty cool. Do that by pressing the bus button. Maybe I have to hold. I don't know, now it won't turn off. Huh, all right, well, I'll take a look at the manual, see how to turn that off. Anyways, now the light's gonna be on. So it's pulling the indoor temperature from this little unit right here. So depending on where you put this thing really depends on uh, how accurately it's gonna read. 
Um, right now it's claiming to be about 76.8 degrees in here. Again, I'd say that's probably pretty accurate within a couple of degrees of each other. Um, you also have your relative humidity here, 65%. Uh, percent. So there's that. It actually looks like to turn on the light, you press this and then you just have to wait for it to time out. Um, so that's interesting. You can't turn it off manually. You have to wait for it to turn off. Also down here, you have your uh, date, 612. And you also have uh, your time right here, 1.40 p.m. It's actually 1.41, but I just said that a minute ago. It's not getting that off of like where you are in the world or anything like that. You also have here a touch button to change the channel for the uh, little outdoor sensor, which I don't want to do that. It'll lose signal, obviously. You also here can change between Celsius and uh, Fahrenheit. As you can see, just tap it. And then this is to go between, I believe, your max um, uh, degrees and also your max, uh, what's it called, relative humidity. So that's interesting. And you also go between minimum and then you go back. So that's pretty cool. So if you wanted to see what was the uh, maximum relative humidity of uh, today, you just press that and you'll see, oh, it's 70% uh, relative humidity was the max today. So that's pretty cool. Or you could do that for a minimum too. So uh, pretty nice. That has a decent amount of functions. I really like that you can change between max and minimum just to see. So that's pretty nice. Also like this little backlight. I actually didn't even know it had that until I accidentally clicked the button. Um, I don't like that you have to wait for it to time out, but it's whatever really. So there it is. Very cool. So I guess what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop this clip, give you guys my final opinions on this one here, and then I'll go ahead and unbox this uh, little one here. All right. So overall, what do I think of this weather station? I would say for $30, it seems actually pretty solid. Um, not in terms of like build quality or anything like that. Build quality, it's pretty normal. It's just all made of plastic, made out of plastic. So is the, uh, little sensor that's outside currently so i don't know how that's going to hold up over time especially that little sensor uh, if you leave it in like the sun or something i don't know if it's going to start cracking after a while but um, i'm not 100 percent sure on that but i would say it seems pretty solid in terms of it has a good amount of functions and it seems to do the job pretty well also really like that it has a little backlight again i don't like that you can't turn it off when you want but Again, it is really whatever. Now you might see this indoor temperature is going up. I would assume that's because I'm just moving it around and probably also because it's in my hand and my hands are warm, obviously. Uh, so it's probably getting the uh, temperature off of my actual body. Um, now, obviously if you leave it here, it'll probably go down. But um, again, seems to have a pretty decent amount of functions. Seems to be pretty cool. Um, again, I can't speak for how long it's gonna hold up, but so far it seems to be working pretty well. And I assume if you keep care of it, if you keep that little sensor out of the sun and the rain and stuff, I would think it would last a, a pretty decently long time. So um, yeah, there is that. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this little um, thermo sensor here, um, thermometer, sorry. I'm gonna open that up right here. So let's go and do that now. All right, so actually, as I was taking the batteries out of this thing, I noticed uh, this little uh, silver piece here, and I was like, what the heck is that? So I just touched it, and it kind of fell out. And I thought, hmm, is this maybe going to here? And it actually does. So this acts as a little stand if you want to uh, hold it upright like that. Boom, you set it on your table, and now it's facing uh, towards you or towards whatever. So that is uh, pretty cool. I really like that. I just I didn't know about that. I was thinking maybe it was some sort of an antenna or something since it was sitting back here, but uh, apparently not. So that is very cool. Now we'll go ahead and get into this weather station. All right, so now let's go ahead and get into this weather station. Now, this is the cheaper one. It's $20 instead of $30. Um, so I'm expecting it to have less functions and maybe be built a little bit cheaper, but who knows? Anyways, you can see on the front, it actually says Baylor. Now, I assume Baylor makes it and Zupora just sells it. Uh, so that's something to note right there. Indoor, outdoor, the mom hydrometer with a uh, backlight, all right? You can see on the front, the uh, nice little picture of what the weather station looks like. You can see it has a uh, LCD screen. I assume that tells, uh, yeah, temperature and humidity, minimum and maximum. That's something we just saw a minute ago with the $30 one. Celsius and degrees. Uh, it looks like it has a backlight. That's something, maybe it keeps your uh, 
uh, temperature in like a, uh, I don't know, maybe it just keeps it there to store it or something. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I don't know what that's supposed to mean either. And I assume that means you're gonna be happy with this thing. Anyways, on the sides here, nothing much. You can see here we have the uh, white one or you could choose the black one. And then on the back here, we have uh, some different things here, some specs, outdoor temperature range, indoor temperature range, and so on. And then there's the uh, label for Amazon. So let's go in and open this up. It's like you pull on the top here. And it looks like here is the little temperature sending unit, if you want to call it that. Batteries going back here. And it seems like the exact same unit as the uh, $30 one, actually. Except this one just says Baylor on it. And comes in a different color. We also here have the instruction manual. And then here is the actual uh, screen unit itself. Looks like we have a little stand back here. Yeah, check that out, that's pretty cool. Buttons back here to change between uh, the different channels for the little sensor here. And also to change between Celsius degrees and go in your memory. So there it is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, go on ahead and put some batteries in this thing. Also put some uh, batteries in the little sensor here and it actually doesn't come with batteries. That's something to, uh, to note too. The $30 one actually did come with batteries. So I'm going to have to source the uh, batteries for this thing and go ahead and set it up and see how it works. All right. So I now have the little temperature sending unit. Uh, paired up to this thing is very simple. It actually paired up on its own. Um, now, I do want to make a, cor a uh, correction real quick. I thought this thing said Baylor, but it actually says B-A-L-D-R, so Balder maybe. Um, I, this really looked like an O, uh, also on the packaging. That's just what I thought it was. It looked kind of like an O, so I just assumed it, it uh, was, but apparently not, so uh, that's something to say right there. Anyways, here it is, and it's saying it's about 81.3 degrees, and that is outside. Now, the uh, little temperature sending unit is probably about 20 feet away. Um, all the little vents on the back are, uh, in fact, um, you know, getting air, so they're not going to be covered up or anything, so it's going to get an accurate reading. And 81.3, that is exactly what the uh, weather app on my phone says it is outside also says it's 81 degrees. Now the um, other uh, weather station that we just reviewed a minute ago, it was actually a couple of degrees off. So I assume this one is actually reading more accurately. So that is something to uh, also note right there. So this one's a little bit cheaper, but it seems to be uh, reading a little bit better. You can also see here it says 89 degrees. I assume that is for the relative humidity. And you could also see up here, this is for the inside and it claims to be about 77.4 degrees Fahrenheit in here. And that's pretty much what the other one read to. And then you could also see uh, 56 degree, or sorry, 56% uh, relative humidity in here also. Now to change between uh, Fahrenheit and Celsius is actually pretty simple. You have to go back here and you just, I believe you know, to click that actually changes between the max and the minimum. So that's uh, something cool. That's also something that the uh, $30, uh, $30 one did too. Let's go and change here between Fahrenheit and Celsius. There we go. You have to hold this button right here. And then it changes between uh, Fahrenheit and Celsius. Let's go and hold it again to change back to Fahrenheit. And there you go. So um, this one definitely, of course, has less functions than the $30 one. Um, but it's also, you know, cheaper. So that's kind of what you expect. So you really have to kind of think of it this way. Do you want uh, better and, you know, has more functions, tells the date and stuff for more? Or do you want a cheaper one that just basically does the bare bones, which tells the, you know, Fahrenheit degrees and stuff like that. Um, again, this one is basically just a weather station. It only tells uh, Fahrenheit and Celsius. It also tells your humidity, but the other one again shows the uh, the date, the time, uh, of course the uh, uh, humidity and the uh, degrees too. So it's really up to you. Do you want better for more, or do you want less for well less money? So um, I would say this one, of course, does the uh, job too. It really just depends on how much you want to spend. Um, and this one, of course, this one seems a little bit uh, accurate too. So that is something to uh, note. So. 
Uh, so there it is. So that's pretty much it for the uh, two reviews on both of these weather stations. Again, this one is a little bit more accurate. It's a little bit cheaper, but also has way less functions. Or you could get the uh, $30 one, more functions, more expensive, um, but seems to be a little bit better made and also has a bigger screen. So it's really up to you. So um, yeah, I guess that's really it for this video. Hope everybody enjoyed and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.